Good morning, Chargers. Colleen Murphy. And Nate Laura signing on. And here's your DP News. Today, March 5th, is Wellness Awareness Day in the A Quad outside the Permaculture Garden of A3. Tables representing and supporting the event are the Charger Inn, sponsoring the Blender Smoothie Bike, Fairview Gardens, Twister Club, Permaculture Club, Fruit Fear Factor, Photography and Art Exhibit Tables, Rethink Your Drink, How Much Sugar Are You Really Consuming, and the Harvest Santa Barbara. UCSB is sponsoring the Transferring Making, Making It Happen program and bringing it to our school. This program is designed to help high school students prepare to first attend a community college for two years and then transfer to a four-year university and earn your bachelor's degree. The program consists of two lectures that will aid in the application process, financial aid, and give tips on how to be a successful university student. If you're interested in learning more, contact your counselor with any of your questions. Sophomores and juniors, the assessment to qualify to take SBCC's English 110 next year at DP through dual enrollment takes place March 14th in the cafeteria. Students need to follow the procedure online to register. Please see your counselor if you have any questions. We'll be right back after this commercial break. The Charger account is about finding stories and using your voice to tell those stories. This class is really important to me because I enjoy writing and um, in journalism I can freely write about what interests me and I can be appreciated for it for the school paper which is an awesome feeling to have. The biggest benefit to journalism is you get to go out in the world and talk to people. So because the class is uh, mentored by NewsHawk, it's a great opportunity to connect with a professional news organization. I think my favorite thing about journalism is that no matter what your talent is, and no matter what your passion is, whether it's writing, just talking to other people, or even photography, we could value you here and you could really contribute to one thing. Guys, 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 guys. Leadership Air Bands is this Friday. We gotta get it right. Let's go. This is how it's done. Right, right. Na, 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 na. Like that, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, go. Na, 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 na. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right. Welcome back. Clubs meeting today are including Catholic, Ceramics, Debate, Dream Team, Environmental Adventures, Virtual Enterprise, and the Young Life Clubs. Well, that about wraps it up for Campus News. I'll smell you later, DP. Now here's John with your sports. Yesterday, our boys' tennis team continued their winning streak with their third straight win against Slow 13-5. In singles, Patrick Corpus played through sneezing and coughing and went 2-1. Freshman Miles Baldwin stayed energized through three rounds and went 2-1. Quinn Hensley fought throughout the set to win the set tiebreaker 7-2. And Sanit Shabar played consistently and calmly going 1-0. In doubles, we took seven sets thanks to Mason Cassidy, Joshua Wang, who went 3-0, Greg Steigerwald and Andrew Tufankian, 3-0, and Noah Glushenkoff and Ankish Kamani, who went 1-2. Great job, boys. The tennis team has their Channel League opener at home against Santa Barbara next Tuesday at 3-15. DP Baseball lost their season opener to Burbank 2-1 in the first game of the Eastern Tournament. Jesse Spear and Luke Coffey each had two hits, and they continued the tournament on Thursday and Saturday. Boys Volleyball has their second game of the season today at Westlake at 6. The boys also have another game tomorrow at home against Oxnard. Good luck, boys. Well, that's all the sports news I have for you. I'm John from DP News. Have a good day, DP.